Please use star code Aquila when buying Robux or Premium. These are all of my social media accounts. Enjoy the video! You can represent your favorite Bloxburg family with my new shirt. It's cute, it's comfy, and it's linked in my description. Hi everyone, it's Akila. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm finally getting some cleaning done because the house has been an absolute nightmare. Um, so let me go ahead and explain to you guys what happened. Grandma Annie has been in the hospital for a few days and... I'm trying to push through and be strong for my family, but we went to visit her with the kids and it was just so hard seeing her like that. So we're just going through a really difficult time, but I'm sure we'll get through it. The kids are at school right now. Me and August are going to see Grandma Annie in about 30 minutes, but I just wanted to, you know, get some things done. Hey, Akila, can I help with anything? No, no, I would just appreciate it if you would just stay out of this area. I'm trying to get some work done. I'm sick and tired of just everyone being in my way and asking me if I'm okay. I'm fine. I can do everything myself. Well, I was just trying to help. You don't have to be so mean. I'm not trying to be mean, but you just don't understand. How come all of a sudden you want to start helping around the house? You never helped us much before. Because you're mother is ill and i know how hard it can be but if you don't need my help i won't help oh no why did i snap on august like that it's just so hard always trying to take care of everyone and make sure everyone else is okay and then trying to manage my feelings on top of that everyone keeps asking me if i'm okay and i'm not well, let me go talk to him august Augie, I'm, I'm really sorry for what I said back there. You definitely didn't deserve that. You're right. I'm just going through a really tough time right now. We all are. And I should be way more considerate of everyone else's feelings. But I just feel like I haven't even taken time to address and accept how I feel. It's okay, Akila. I understand. You were frustrated. And... It's okay to be mad sometimes. Thank you for understanding. We all need to continue to just be here for one another. My mom would not want us fighting with each other. I agree. And I'm sorry for my actions too. Forgive me? Yes, I forgive you too. Well, um, I finished cleaning, so I guess we can head over to the hospital. Okay, so we have finally made it to the hospital, and we're gonna go and check on Grandma Annie. Hey, Mom! How are you? Hey, Annie! Oh, she's asleep. Here, close the door. Okay, I'm glad she's finally getting some rest. Oh, look who's awake! Hey, Annie! Hi, Mom! How are you doing? What are you two doing here? You think we were just gonna leave you in this hospital with no one to talk to? We came back to see you, of course. The kids are at school. We dropped them off this morning. What a pleasant surprise. The company is very much appreciated. I'm happy you enjoy our company. Well, how have you been sleeping? How are they treating you here? As much as I wish I could be back at home, in my own bed, it's pretty decent here. Fantastic service. But, the food on the other hand, absolutely rancid! I thought the meatloaf would take me before God did! Oh! <laughs> Are you serious? It's that bad? Would you like to have a taste test to find out? Oh, oh no, I'll pass. I know I'm old, but these taste buds ain't. I'll take your word for it. But all jokes aside, they treat me very well here. Good, because you only deserve the best. Also, speaking of that, the nice nurse who helped us check in told me that there's actually a kitchen there. So would you like me to prepare you any food? Oh, yes, that would be lovely. 
Okay, well, it's only 11. So do you want a breakfast food? Oatmeal would be great right now. Okay, one bowl of oatmeal coming right up. I believe that the kitchen is behind this door. Of course, the first thing I'm gonna do is wash my hands. Looks like these are some of the nurses' lunch bags. Let me see what they have inside. Actually, no, I'm not gonna be nosy. But let's check the cabinet for an oatmeal packet. Okay, great, I found the oatmeal and I put it in a bowl and now we're gonna heat it up in the microwave. And I think she should also have some fruit too. So let's take a banana from the basket. Okay, so the oatmeal is ready. Let's grab this too and carefully take it back to her room. Hey, you two, I'm back with food. Oh, let me go ahead and close the door. I also got you a banana. Why, thank you, dear. There you go, there's your oatmeal and there is your banana. Wait, do you want anything to drink? I wasn't sure. Did you bring me any grown-up grape juice? Mom, of course I didn't bring you any. Annie, you can't have any of that. I just know Layla would have hooked me up. You and Layla are trouble. Hey, when it comes to a drink, I'm gonna have it. And who knows when Jesus will take the wheel? Mom, you've definitely been watching way too much reality TV. I wanted to have a little talk with you two, since the kiddos aren't here. Oh, okay. Well, what did you want to talk about? So, as you know, I'm not in the best condition, and that's okay. So, I've been preparing my will. We all know the history behind the house, and how memorable it is. The house? Yes, your childhood house. It would mean the world to me if you guys could cherish it when I pass on. I left the property in your name, so if you ever want to move there, you could always renovate it and make it a home. Or even use it as a vacation house. Because when I pass on, my spirit will be at the house with your father. That's a lot to think over. I wasn't ready for this conversation, but I guess it had to happen at some point. When the day comes, I just want you all to be prepared. That's understandable, Mom. And thank you for sharing that with us. But you're gonna be fine, and I'm sure you'll be out of the hospital in no time. But thank you so much for leaving the property in my name. And the house and your legacy will live on forever, I promise. Of course, darling. Give Mama some sugar. Um, August, will you step outside into the hallway with me? I need some help with the vending machine. Yeah, the vending machine. Oh, yeah, sure, of course. Okay, be right back, Mom. Be good, Annie. Would you hurry up? Come on. Babe, I was not emotionally ready for a talk like that. Thinking about losing my mom? That's crazy. And my childhood house, where my father passed away, is in my name? We have to do something with it? Move there? I don't know, this is a lot, and I just feel so much pressure. I don't want all of your memories washed away. Thanks for being so considerate. We clearly have a lot to talk about. Let us know in the comments what you think we should do with the property where I used to live. And I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please feel free to leave a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. Once you are subscribed, click the bell button so you get notified whenever I post a video. We're really hoping that Grandma Annie gets better. I'm sure she will. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Bye! You, you've been hiding in the shadows way too long. You always thought that you were weak, but babe, you're wrong.